What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, Mike and I are out here with Brembo Brakes to test out their new Sensify system for their brakes on performance cars. So we have the Tesla Model 3 Performance models. We have two of them. The first car is the basic OEM standard braking system. The second car has their all new Sensify braking technology. So we're going to get out on the track with both of these cars and really see what the difference is with this new technology. So we'll go out in the stock car and then we're gonna meet you guys right back here and tell you exactly what this stuff is. So just the dry one first at 50 miles an hour. So get up to speed. And right now. All right guys, on to the test number two. We are now on the wet, going 50 miles an hour and full brake right when we come up to it. Whew. This first event will be at 50 miles an hour. It'll be in the curve. All right. Full ABS, the sign set is blown over again. Um, so yeah, just try and keep to the middle lane of the, uh, the track. <laughs> this next event will be 75 miles per hour. On the street. All right, guys, we are coming around a turn, and I see the straightaway. This is gonna be a heartbreaking. <laughs> I will say, like, this is familiar. Like, slamming on the brakes like this, I've tested kind of this in my own cars and sure. other performance cars. Yeah. So it's uh, cool to feel familiar with what I'm doing now. All right, 70 miles an hour, turning, slamming on the brakes. All right, here we go. <laughs> All right, pretty stable. It'll be interesting as this is the benchmark. Is I mean, already this is pretty good, not gonna lie. We're going to go fast. through the cones at 50 miles an hour and then avoid the cones changing into the right lane. So it's my turn behind the wheel. We'll get up to 50 miles an hour for our first straight line test. And here we go with the braking. There we go. There you go. <laughs> that was pretty quick for 50 miles an hour. So round two going 50 miles an hour, stopping on the wet tarmac. Got a little bit sideways. Try and keep to the middle lane of the of the track as you do this. So right here. Yep, right as we were going around here. Like that? Yep. Not bad for a turn. Yeah. <laughs> 75. Oh my gosh. Woo! <laughs> that was pretty cool. That was <laughs> seemed pretty yeah. quick. There's 70. That's okay. I did? Yep. <laughs> How was that approach? Was that? That was good. That, that was good. good. And you waited and braked at the right yep. time. So that was, that was really good. All right. That was an interesting one. 50 miles an hour turning in the wet. This is uh, a little unsettled, I would say. If that was real life on a road, I'd be hoping there's no guardrail too far away. So now we're going 40, obstacle avoidance. Nice. Get up to 50 though right now. Yeah. There you go. And right there we're going to be turning left and braking full ABS. Go. There we go. Not bad for the wet. Yeah. Shift a little bit sideways. Yeah. And was, yeah but it, it seems to, to pull back to the left though. Absolutely. For that left turn. So we're coming in this one. We need to be at 40 miles an hour going through that and we're cutting to the left. Uh, I let off on the brake a little bit there at the end. That's all good. But I was at the speed. Yep. That, that seemed good. pretty good. All right, so we just finished up driving in the stock Tesla Model 3 Performance. To be honest, that's a pretty cool car. Right? Yeah. It's I mean, quick, peppy. Uh, Brembo brakes obviously are good. For performance driving? For yeah. an electric vehicle? That was a fun little cool. car. 
Yeah, um, handles it's, well. It's what I expected. So basically what we were testing is when you slam on the brakes and all the circumstances you saw, how does it perform? Yep. It and performs like all of our cars have, any like other car I've driven. 99% of the cars on the road yeah. come into a hard stop. If you're used to a performance like focused car that does have a big brake kit, yeah. this is how it works. I mean, it. Uh, it's what I expected. If you're on the highway, traffic's in front of you, quick stop. And yeah. that's kind of to try to convey to people. That's it's kinda, it's normal. It's, it's normal, just normal, normal yeah. good performance braking system. Yep. So what in the world are we testing out? So basically the Sensify, that is what they're calling their all new system. You can see their whole logo here. But we have a really cool model. Uh, looks like kind of what you're expecting, you know, big old Brembo braking system. The biggest difference is it's now all technologically advanced. Instead of just old school disc brakes and all that, we now have an ECU up front and in the back to control independently exactly how much brake pressure is going to be happening with all four of these brakes. So as we go into the Sensify Tesla, we're going to test it out. But basically, in a normal car, hydraulic brakes, you slam on the brakes, ABS kicks in, all that stuff kicks in to help try to safely get you to a stop. Yep. Um, what this does in the front on this car, it'll still have a hydraulic line from this one to this new motor. This is the big thing right here. These are basically motors that are gonna control how much brake pressure is happening based on your brake pedal like in the car. So it modulates each each wheel individually right. versus just hitting the brake pedal and it controlling basically all yeah. four. The, the, the stock car, you're kind of relying on the actual fluids pressure to slam on the brakes. Yep. That's why ABS kicks in, all these things kick in so you don't just skid. This has a computer to modulate that the rear ones are actually directly mounted. So we have a motor mounted to the actual caliper. So there's not even a hydraulic line, it's electronic in back. So what it should do is kind of eliminate all the uncertainty with like the ABS and the way all the stuff that we're used to works and just make it stop and be like perfect pretty much. You can even modulate how you want the brake pedal to feel. So and, almost yeah. like a tune in a car where you can have map one, two, and three, you can do that with a brake pedal, have one, two, and three. So if you want a firmer brake pedal, softer brake pedal, which we were told and we can test in the Sensify car. So that's gonna be interesting to see. Yeah, so it's basically a fine-tuned, customizable braking system <laughs> that is kinda gonna revolutionize how brakes work. So with that said, it looks like the Sensify car is back. You can see it with a really cool, brightly covered wrap. But now let's hit it in those and get our reactions. All right guys, we're now in the Sensify car, 40 miles an hour on the wet. All right, already I did feel a big difference when I first hit the pedal. This next one was the one that really kind of felt unstable for the car. You could just tell it was kind of squirrely. So we're going 50 miles an hour turning in the rain. So this one is going to be very interesting now. Yeah, no squirreliness. That was really interesting. All right, so we're on to doing that again. Now we're gonna be going 40 miles an hour, still in the rain. This will be interesting. Let's get a feel for that one more time. Wow. All right, guys, 50 miles an hour dry, and we're in the tuned brake feel. Oof. All right. Really smooth, honestly. Like, really smooth. The brake pedal was smooth, and the uh, deceleration was smooth. All right, so turning back around now, now we're doing the same test, 50 miles per hour in the wet. So that'll be interesting, because obviously it's much more squirrely in the wet circumstances. So as we get up on the course now, there we go. Really smooth. All right, guys, now he is going to control the car, slamming on the brakes for me. Right, Tesla, activate track one. All right, you tell me when to take the foot off. Oh, your foot off the pedal? All right. <sighs> nice. All right, on to the higher speed stuff. For me, 50 miles an hour, going into a turn, maintaining the turn with the Sensify. Wow, just maintaining its line. That's impressive. I guess you said 70 or 75. 75. And just like playing right in the middle. See one side? Wow. <laughs> All right. That was the fast one, guys. <laughs> I will say there is definitely a noticeable difference between what you're expecting in any normal car to then this. So 70 miles an hour we're going to be going. And I believe it's in a turn, right? Yep. It's, a turn, it's, a turn. it's a pretty decently 
sharp turn. There we go, guys. Wow. It just feels like it's on rails slowing down. Like, there's nothing questionable about, honestly, like the safety of slowing down. Impressive. All right, 50 miles an hour, obstacle avoidance right in front of me. That was a comfort feel. Okay. Do the same thing or do the same thing. <laughs> wow. Much different. Right? different. We're gonna go to we're <laughs> gonna go to a sport now. This one's gonna be different from the last one. Alright. Oh goodness. <laughs> yeah. So that's, that's the so that's you that's the system's ability to adjustable pedal. Like you have okay. adjustable exhaust and suspension. Yeah. Very similar. That's the same thing, so you, you'll be able to now adjust the feel of your brake. Dang. Here we go, 40 miles an hour. I think I let up off the brake a little bit. Brake at the side. Wow. That was not as choppy as the other car. It felt a little bit more, almost like it, it straightened out a little bit more, but there was no hopping, no. which was pretty cool. So 40. Yep. There we go, 40. I might have hit the brakes a little early. Yeah, a little bit early. But that's still, it's still not like it's jittery. Very controllable. Yeah, it's very yeah. controllable. Stable. Yeah, very good design. I don't feel like it is, uh, I don't know how to describe it. Like I felt like I got a little bit of a headache stopping in the other car with all the, the jumping and everything. Uh -huh. It feels... It's less violent. It's less violent. Wow. No uh, hopping or anything. So 50 miles an hour, breaking a sharp right turn here. So much more controlled. Coming through track two at 75. Stopping here? Yep. Okay. So 75. Yep, stop. Wow. 70 so for that? It's 70 for that, so I would say that now we can get up to speed. Go. Good take it. Wow. I broke a little early there. It's fun, you didn't hit anything. Yeah. That's the whole point. Foot off the brake. Ooh. Wow, I didn't do that at all. So we are back now driving the Tesla with the Sensify braking system and what a difference. That so was, we haven't been able to talk about it yet. Yeah, that was what? a night and day difference between the standard Tesla, I'm gonna say, yeah. and the Sensify braking system. And the crazy thing is the Tesla Model 3 performance, the benchmark is already good. Like that's right. on par with the cars that we're used to. Yeah. I didn't think it could get better, <laughs> which was impressive. We do a lot of mountain driving. We do some track driving here and there. And for our mountain driving, the brakes on the normal Tesla felt like what we feel. Yeah. Kind of just a normal going through the turns, maybe getting a little notchy in the wheels. Everything was very familiar. Yeah. But then hopping into the Sensify, <laughs> the biggest thing I noticed, you slam on the brakes, you know, pedal to the floor and there's no more of your brake pedal hitting you in the foot, nothing it's unstable not, about yeah, it. Yeah, you're not jumping, the wheels yeah. aren't skidding. Like, like like I said, when I was driving it, you know, you slam on the brakes and you just navigate where you want to go and the car stops. There's right. no uncertainty. And I can't believe, what was it, 70 something miles an hour? 70 miles an hour in the rain. We were stopping almost quicker than yeah. the, the first Tesla. And it wasn't sketchy, it was just, you stop when you want to stop and you yeah. navigate how you want to navigate. It was impressive. It was so controlled and the fact that in and the first Tesla, I was starting to get a headache. Yeah. Like it felt like you were on a roller coaster kind of getting jostled around. It almost gives you that sketchy sense, like we've all right. experienced in um, yeah. you know, poor circumstances out in the road. You right. have to slam the brakes downhill in a tight turn. You know, yeah. you can understeer, oversteer, and it's a little scary sometimes. With the Sensify car, I could go around this track all day. Yeah. Like with the confidence of dry of stopping, yeah. you just you feel normal. It's crazy to see how it, much more 
improved the and braking system basically, has become. I guess, I guess the reason why it's like that is each individual brake now is having a brain telling it exactly how much pressure to have, right. and it's all instant. Like You can't even blink that quickly of how <laughs> much pressure and how it's gonna react. Yeah. With a normal car, you just hit the brakes and all four brakes have pressure, and you hope right. for the best, and you have computers to kinda make it not skid or anything. Right. But this is each wheel having its own computer like zeroing in on it to just do it. Right, so like you can impressive. go around a turn and it could probably break the inside wheel quicker than the outside wheel. It's gonna do it. To allow you to yeah. do the turn. We were doing 70 miles an hour in a turn. Yeah. And so allowing you to continue that turn that's impressive. So Brembo, they've kind of been the leader of brakes. Uh, yeah. Both of our cars have Brembos actually. Yeah. Um, but seeing what the technology is gonna be in the future, like this yeah. is coming out. This in is like 10 two, years in the making. Yeah, and maybe two years in yeah. from now, you're gonna see this on production cars that have the Brembos. You're always seeing cars getting more horsepower without upgrading the brakes. Yeah. This is almost a simple way to just set them. And, and you, don't them even, you don't even need to just keep getting bigger calipers, bigger rotors, which right. are heavier, more resources more to make mass. them. Yeah. This, you can keep it simplified, which kind of the name Sensify kind of yeah. makes some sense. Yeah. <laughs> um, you can simplify it, keep them smaller, lighter weight, um, just more sustainable to keep making these because it's easier to produce Yeah, and just so much better. I didn't think it could get better. But there you guys have it out at the Brembo Sensify event, really getting to test out this all new braking technology. I think it's awesome. It's very cool to see the innovations yeah. of braking systems and what the future has in store. Yeah, cars are getting faster, but you gotta stop them and you gotta, of course, do it in a safe, controlled way. And even with normal cars, yeah. braking is important, obviously. Yeah. So, Rambo's killing it. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. That was a heck of a ton of fun. Um, Out here at the proving grounds. Yeah. Getting to rip around these Teslas. We're having too much fun. <laughs> but, anyways, yeah. if you guys enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, stay tuned for plenty more content, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Yeah.